Right guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. In this one I'm just going to be showing you how to upgrade the ratchets in your Prime Primavera rear wheel. So let's go ahead, let's take a look. So here we have the uh, Prime wheel, carbon wheel. This uses a ratchet hub system in this one. So it doesn't matter what rim depth you've got, it uses the, uh, the ratchet hub in these Primavera wheels. So what we're going to do is change though the uh, ratchets out for a DT Swiss ratchets so let's go ahead let's get the wheel out of the bike and then I'll show you how to do it so we've got the wheel removed from the bike now note this is a rim brake wheel and not this one the same sort of principle applies this end cap here by your cassette is pushed on there that's all that's holding it on it's just pushed onto the axle so it'll be the same the disc one will just be pushed on the axle as well but obviously it's got a through axle going through there not a quick release like this is so all I do to remove this one is this quick release one is normally you'll find the end cap on this side normally comes off easier than it does on this side so that end cap comes off should come off easy because you can get hold of it bigger um, better because it's a bigger end cap so you've got more to pull on with your hand to remove that side first. This side is more tricky, even if you've got the cassette off, it won't make a lot of difference. So with that one removed, all I'll do is just put a, a punch through there, through the axle, so, so it's going through on, and resting on this side, and then just put your hand there, and then obviously hit the punch the other side. And there's the end cap, obviously the cassette will then pop off because the end cap was just holding it on. So the cassette comes off with the free hub body in the middle. So all we're interested in obviously is the ratchets inside. So we just slide that off the axle. You've got a spring in there as well. And then you've got the two ratchets in here. So there's two separate like that. So there's both of them, and then obviously you've got a spacer on the axle there, and you've also got another spring sat down in there as well. So that's basically the standard ones there. So these ones that come in it are a 36 tooth engagement ratchets. So basically on the face of them there, it's 36 teeth going round there on the face and same with this side they just engage together so when you obviously pedaling they're working as one unit and then when you're freewheeling that's what the noise is and then when you go to re-engage obviously the more teeth you got the quicker the engagement so these are 36 teeth on those like I said and the um, ones I'll be putting in there are actually DT Swiss ones and these are 54 teeth so these are DT Swiss version. So I'll just show you side by side so you can see the difference. So with the uh, DT Swiss ratchets, you also get two springs as well. But what I'll be doing is we won't be using those springs, we'll be just using the standard springs that came in the Prime Hub. So we've got obviously 36 which is a standard one that came in it and this is a DT Swiss 54 tooth one engagement don't know if you can see it very well or not that's what they look like and I don't know if it shows up very well on the actual camera but the thickness across here is bigger so it's, you've got more engagement area so to speak than this one this one's thinner than the DT Swiss one so the engagement area itself the surface area is slightly bigger with this with the DT Swiss one than it is with this one 
is just slightly thinner. Still fits on the axles the same and everything like that. But you just got a bit more engagement area on the DT Swiss one than you have on the Prime one. Just something I noticed. So what we do is obviously we need to grease these before we put them in, just lightly grease them. So for that I'll just use the DT Swiss um, grease for these before we put them in. So here we have a DT Swiss uh, grease, this is for the 240 hub, the grease, this is a red grease like that that we use on the ratchets. So all you do with that is we just get just get a brush in there and then on the face and round the side we just put a, a thin layer over it like that and that's all you need you don't need to you don't need to put too much grease on them you just put a thin thin layer over it like that and obviously the same just put a bit over the actual uh, edge as well round and do the same on both of them before you install them you don't need to go too heavy on the grease otherwise they won't work properly so now we've got both of the uh, ratchets greased up what we'll do is slide one over the axle there and the spacer so it just sits inside against the spring in the hub like that make sure the spacer is pushed down to the bottom touching the bearing and then with your other one you can just sit it in like that obviously with the uh, faces with the teeth on facing one another so this one's facing this way and, and that one's facing out so they both engage together and then once you've done that what you've got to do is put it back on now what you want to do before you put it on is just grease put some grease over the axle itself as well before you uh, slide this back on just helps it stop getting stuck on there at a later date Then you slide your cassette back on like that and then obviously you need your end cap back on there to hold it in position. Now before you put the end cap back on make sure you grease, you want to put some grease inside the end cap inside of there just because there's a little o-ring in there and that gets dry over time and it can stop it coming off so easy so you have trouble to remove it so it's better just to grease it just hold your cassette on and then just pop that cap back on like that it'd be the same if you got a disc wheel as well you got to put the cap back on and grease it the same and then if you remove the other side obviously this is a quick uh, rim brake wheel so it hasn't got a disc on the other side so same with this, you put a bit of grease on that cap and obviously you might have had to remove your disc rotor to get at this as well so as you can pull this side off if needs be so when you put your cap on then you'd have to refit your disc rotor obviously as well and make sure it turns as it should like that then we get that back in the bike obviously what we do is we do a sound check on them as well so before and after So hope you found the video helpful, if you did remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to your channel for more cycle related content, till next one ride safe and I'll see you then.